what they did 20 hours a day during World War II was to decipher secret codes and secret messages from uh, German submarines. This particular problem you're going to see today is exactly that. You are going to indeed code and decode secret messages very similar to what happened in World War II. <laughs>
Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Richard Carney. I'm a professor of computer science at Camden County College in Blackwood, New Jersey. What you just saw was excerpts from the computer programming contest held in 1998. Today is Monday, October 27, 2008. This room was used for the Camden County College High School Programming Contest from 1985 to 2005, a period of 20 years. Over 1,000 high school students participated in this event. However, except for two of the 21 high schools in Camden County, computer science was eliminated from their course offerings, which quickly led to the demise of the contest. It was an article in May 2006 in Business Week uh, magazine authored by Steve Hamm entitled, A Red Flag in the Brain Game. The byline states, America's dismal showing in a contest of college programmers highlights how China, India, and Eastern Europe are closing the tech talent gap. I'd like to read for you some of the key points of this article. The members of the Duke University's computer programming team had solved only one problem in the world finals of the ACM International Collegiate Programming Contest held in San Antonio, Texas. The winning team from Saratov State University in Russia solved six problems over the uh, course of a grueling five-hour contest. Duke wasn't the only U.S. school to be skunked at the prestigious computer contest. Of the home teams, only Massachusetts Institute of Technology ranked among the 12 highest finishers. Most top spots were seized by teams from Eastern Europe and Asia. Until the 1990s, U.S. teams dominated these contests, but the tide has turned. Last year, not one United States team was in the top 12. The poor showing should serve as a wake-up call for government, industry, and educators. The output of American computer science programs is plummeting, while that of Eastern Europe and Asian schools is rising. China and India, the new global tech powerhouses, are fueled by 900,000 engineering graduates of all types each year, more than triple the number of U.S. grads. Computer science is a key subset of engineering. If our talent base weakens our lead in technology, business and economics will fade faster than any of us can imagine. Warren's Richard Florida, a professor at George Mason University and author of Flight of the Creative Class. Software programmers are the seed corn of the information economy, yet America isn't producing enough. The Labor Department forecasts that computer math scientist jobs, which include programming, will increase by 40% from 2.5 to 3.5 million in 2012. Colleges aren't keeping up with the demand. As the announcer at the ACM International Contest ticked off the last 10 seconds, Saratov's players, coaches, and hangers-on shouted with joy and gave each other back-pounding hugs. I feel euphoric, said team member Ivan Romanov. Victory was especially sweet, he added, because it came on the anniversary of cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin's 1961 voyage into space. Gagarin's rocket ride shocked Americans as their, uh, from their post-war complacency, sparking a national quest for the tech superiority that led to such breakthroughs as the moon landing and the microchip. A trouncing in a programming contest doesn't inspire the same kind of response today. Truthfully, Americans just don't feel threatened enough to exert the effort. But if we wait too long, we might find ourselves playing catch up again. In my own life, I was surprised to find out that the large majority of states in this country do not recognize computer science as a discipline at the high school level. In 1974, I was a mathematics professor at Salem Community College and was asked to teach some programming classes. 
1978, I decided to enroll in the Graduate School of Education at Rutgers University in order to pursue a degree in computer science education. However, I quickly found out that there was no such degree since there was no teacher certification from the state of New Jersey in that area. Over the years, I have concluded that this is the root of the problem. As long as the state does not recognize the discipline of computer science, provide teacher certification in that area, and provide encouragement and support for high schools to offer courses, this country is going to fall behind and be at great risk.